once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we have something so special, a legendary set, one of probably like the most uh, unobtainable and also highly scalped collectible sets. I don't want to say scalped because when something has been out of production for a long time, the price does go up. So this is more just like a collectible at this point and what a collectible it is. This is, dun 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 dun, the Outland Skirmish. Look at this thing. Oh, there's so much to say about it and uh, so many positives, so I'm going to break it all down. We're going to have some great close-ups of these action figures, these uh, Halo Reach-inspired figures for sure. Like, they're all Reach armor sets and they're looking so fine, so beautiful. And one of the only examples where we've got this many, what is it, six characters that are all from one fire team? It might be the only one of its kind and the particular like mud sort of lime olive green effect between them and then the fully bronze air assault beautiful all of the covenant in this set however are old articulation and it's one of the last times we see old articulation before they're all given beautiful new armor the first covenant we got new articulation with was the elites and then slowly everything else transitioned the grunts are also the larger design but they had been the larger design for many years at this point I remember when they were just the tiniest little grunts they were so cute Let's check out the back of the packaging because that is gorgeous. And this is back in the day where Mega would make exceptionally nice display pieces, like display uh, bases. They don't do that anymore. And it's a bit weird that they don't, right? The 20th character pack came out and literally they just have their own individual stands. They need something like this. It brings it all together, right? Your figures don't just get lost in the mix. You know this is always the Outland Skirmish and you can keep them all together. Showing off the new removable armor there, that was just like it was pretty new. Interchangeable armor system and the other sets that came out this year. This is something that I, I really hope I get one of these days. Still yet to find it, but it's the only set based on Halo Nightfall. It's the Smuggler's Intercept and we've got the Gauss Hog with Arbiter and Chief and the Firebase, which apparently didn't sell very well, but it has a Hunter, two drones and a Spartan Kelly, essentially a Spartan Kelly. It's like, what else do you want with a set? And a Halo 4 Marine. Well, Halo 5 Marine, I guess at this point, but they're almost the same. Yeah, limited edition collectors pack. Really gorgeous. Still got the original seal on. This is pretty much mint condition. I'm so excited to show you guys today. There we go. Beautiful clean pull there. There it is. Whoa. Very nice. And we can also see a Halo 4 backdrop, I believe. Just really gorgeous packaging, right? I love that background design. I love the figures fighting at the top. We got the Master Chief from Halo 5 on the sides and front. Yeah, this is like the Hunt the Truth kind of campaign Master Chief. There we go. All right. Comes with a very simple instruction manual because all we're doing is building the, uh, the main base, which is <laughs> not that difficult. So we'll do that first. Why not? Then we'll check out the figures. This is also one of many reviews that I'm filming all in one go. I'm looking to record a lot of videos before I leave America, just so I have a backlog of videos ready to go. And it's also a while since I've actually sat down in front of a camera and filmed some good old fashioned reviews. Happy that I'm getting some more reviews done. And you guys have also been happy to know that when I get back to England, I will be getting on with some dioramas. So that's gonna be really great. Um, I know dioramas are like the main thing on my channel. Something that has been missing from my channel for a while because I just don't have the ability to make dioramas in Hong Kong or America. I mean, I made some pretty dope dioramas in Hong Kong, but they weren't like custom buildings, you know? Like I'm still limited massively on the piece count that I have available. But no, once I get back to England, that will not be the case. I will have as many pieces as I need to make as many buildings and dioramas as I want. Yeah, so that is the first step and the second step. Nice how these pieces kind of hang off a little bit. That's nice. Like one stood long hangs off. Gives a uh, really nice effect to it actually. Dope. I like that a lot. And I don't like I've never built an Outland Skirmish myself. I own all the figures. I don't own the base actually. And the the Spartans, the set of Spartans is the main thing you want, right? The whole thing is still really dope. Swords here. Spartan helmet here. Nice. That's how it's done, Mega. Get back to your roots. Start making nice bases to display your big character packs with. What should we go for first? <laughs> There's so much here. There's so many weapons. All right, I guess we're gonna go for this guy. 
I want to check him out. He's an ugly boy. He's got like slight white paint. I've seen some that have way uh, more intense white paint than this one does, but still, he looks uh, he looks hideous. Those brutes, they were like really strange designs. Like I will always say these brutes were strange designs, right? Like look at those. They're so weird. They have a lot of painted detailing, like arguably because old articulation Mega just had to go all out with painted detailing for it to look any good. Oh, they, they really don't look amazing though, do they? <laughs> they are outdated, so outdated. Look at this brute captain. And these brute captains, I've always said they have such a fat neck. Look at that fold, man. Look at that fold. The eyes uh, doesn't look that convincing. These, uh, these do not look like the menacing brutes that we see in the future. Like the banished brutes are like exactly what brutes should be, right? Like super menacing. These are just like little tubsters. I don't think they're holding their own against this fire team of Spartans. And with these two, we do have the opportunity to do some pop and swaps if we like, some like half transitioning AC, particularly pulling apart each individual limb and swapping out like half and half. You could probably get some really cool effects going there. But that's a story for another day. Two skirmishes which I know people are really big fans of skirmishes. They are finally coming back in the Halo Universe Series 2 Halo Heroes, so Halo Heroes Series 16. These are just uh, pretty plain. I mean, the painting on the frills, I've always been really impressed with on the skirmishes. The skirmisher was given new articulation for the Sword Base Invasion set. Pretty sure Mega were pretty happy when they saw that the skirmisher was coming back in Halo Infinite. Some nice basic Halo 5 era grunts. I know people don't like Halo 4 and 5 grunts. They much prefer the old school uh, Halo Infinite grunts are back to form. They are absolutely gorgeous, though I do feel guilty for killing them, like, all the time. All of the weapons, we got a gravity hammer, needler, plasma rifle. Nice how we've got a brute and an elite plasma rifle. That's a great touch, even though we don't have an elite in the set. Transitioning AC brute shot. That's dope. Spike grenade to plasma grenade, spiker, and a plasma pistol. When it comes to these figure packs, I like to give the figures exactly the weapons from the instruction manual. I just, like, I don't know. I like to do it exactly as Mega has instructed because it is such a big character pack. So we got the Brute. Uh, one of the Grunts has the Elite Plasma Rifle. That makes sense. I guess it's uh, more just the Covenant Plasma Rifle versus the Brutes having their own one. And yes, one of the Brutes does have a Plasma Rifle there. I think it would be fun if we try and have the uh, figures displayed in the exact positions that they are on the packaging. That would be really fun. Then the Skirmisher has the Plasma Pistol. We've got a Brute with a Spiker. Skirmisher with a purplish sort of uh, crimson knee kind of like a storm needler, and then the brute with the gravity hammer. Nice, not too bad. Okay, so that is the weapons exactly as they appear <laughs> on the packaging. They are the ones that, uh, you know, the Covenant in this are okay. It's clearly not what people are buying the Outland Skirmish for. They're buying it for this fire team. First, we'll have a look at this copper cat. Ooh, you looking good, man. That's so dope. Look at that. I love that copper effect. There's not much else to say, really. It's just full copper. She does have a lot of different armors. I believe this is like JFO shoulder. I apologize if I don't know the exact configurations. I'm still trying to learn. I know that as a YouTuber I should know the exact uh, armor specifications for like shoulders and chests but it's uh, it's not, I'm not quite there yet alright. She's got a SOCOM which yeah there's no SOCOM in Halo Reach but this is a random mix mash set. I don't mind. And funnily enough we do have two air assaults in this set. I don't know if that's because there's limited amounts of Reach armors that they've actually made. There could have been a Mark 5B. We've got this Spartan cat air assault. Probably not cat. And this could be a dude. Who knows? Um, it's probably actually, they have male and female chests, don't they? So uh, some of these will be male, some of them will be female. So yeah, two uh, air assaults, and they do have the same armor configurations, both with that nice broad shoulder piece there. The Spartan Grenadier. I think this Grenadier uh, kind of looks like less detail than some of the others, because if you take, say, the JFO, it's got this really nice ghillie camo. And they brought this ghillie camo over to the Halo Infinite line of figures as well. Yeah, really dope. I love that camo. So it makes this one look a bit plainer, but I at least like the colored black knife. We've got the Spartan Operator and the Spartan EVA. Oh, Operator's shoulders are falling off. A lot of them have this shoulder, eh? The EVA, like a lot of EVAs, does have minor scratching on its helmet. That is the case with a lot of EVAs, unfortunately. Especially a lot of the uh, glow-in-the-dark zombie EVAs. I have a few with scratched visors. And the last two we've got... 
the commander and the hazard. And the hazard has George's chest or sort of whole rounded chest piece. So yeah, you could do a lot of pop and swapping. Like we could make George's exact configuration. We could probably swap all of these around and find that we have entire hazard, entire JFO armor configurations. I'm not sure. I'm not going to do that today. I want to keep this pure and simple, but they all look really fantastic. This Hazop and this uh, JFO look really phenomenal. Just all of Halo Reach armor, like Mega absolutely nailed it, man. They just nailed it. We got a shotgun, SMG, flamethrower, assault rifle, grenade launcher, suppressed SMG. We got a sniper rifle, Halo 5 design, and two grenades. Beautiful. Who gets what? Who gets what? The Hazop gets the flamethrower. That makes sense. Hazop is made for hazardous situations, like uh, operating a flamethrower. And he also has this heavy sort of aesthetic to it, so that makes sense that he's holding the flamethrower to me. If this is the commander spot, and then he should probably have like the assault rifle, really, or maybe the grenade launcher. But either way, he's got the sniper rifle. EVA with the SMG, looking nice. Then the cat, the air assault has the assault rifle, which uh, makes sense, you know, uh, air assault is for uh, tactical flying. If you were flying, you probably would want to carry a standard issue assault rifle or magnum with you. Then the JFO, a suppressed SMG and a grenade. It makes sense that the operator has a grenade launcher to me as well. Let me know in the comments down below, do you think these weapons were appropriately given out by Mega or do you think they should have been given to different characters based on their armor configurations? The last thing to do, ladies and gentlemen, is position these characters as they appear on this uh, display. The Grenadier EVA next to him. The air assault is there. Oh no, we've got a second air assault. Oh, I love that bronze. I know that some people think that like all one color figures are sort of like a waste. I don't think so at all. I think they're just like a fun collectible. The Stone Chief as well is one of my favorites. Then we've got the Operator. All right, that's six of them. Then seven, eight at the front. Then for the Covenant, we've got, this is the funny one. <laughs> on the packaging, we have two of the Covenant running off the display, but I'm not gonna have that. I'm gonna have them on the display. Captain at the front, a spiker, fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Outland Skirmish. What a legendary set. Like what a beautiful depiction of like a Halo Reach fire team. This is probably the closest set we've ever got to like an accurate Halo Reach set, right? We've got just brute captains and miners from Reach, skirmishers, grunts, like obviously no elites because this is a Halo Reach set. And then the Spartans, we've just got so many beautiful designs, six characters, six armor configurations, and a lot of noble team from this. I mean, uh, noble team is some of the core armors, so it makes sense. And then this bronze cat is a gorgeous touch. One that I would probably, oh no, <laughs> oh no, there we go. I would probably position the cat in the middle just because it's the bronze one, but they've got it going on the outside and I wanted uh, a pretty close representation of what's going on on the instruction manual and on the packaging of the set. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, have you managed, <laughs> Come on, let's see if I can do the outro without something falling over. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, have you managed to get this set before? Which is your most obtainable or the figure that you want the most, right? Like there are so many great Spartans there. Which one would you really like to add to your collection? I'm gonna be making some Outland Skirmish dioramas once I get back to England because I have the full set. Just such an absolutely gorgeous set. Absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with this thing. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you very much for your support. When this releases, I'll probably already be in England. So long live the UK, long live dioramas. We're going to be doing some really great content once I'm home. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the Outland Skirmish is signing off. Bom, 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 bom.